Good morning everyone. It's Christmas Eve. It's the 24th of December and we're going to read this morning from Matthew chapter 2, the, the, the end of the that chapter from verse 19 down to 23. Let's hear what it has to say. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel because those who were trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph got up and returned to the land of Israel with Jesus and his mother. But when he learned that the new ruler of Judea was Herod's son, Archelaus, he was afraid to go there. Then after being mourned in a dream, he left for the region of Galilee. So the family went and lived in a town called Nazareth. This fulfilled what the prophets had said, he will be called a Nazarene. Amen. It's that part of the story about Mary and Joseph and Jesus returning to their homeland. Whenever you put together the, the Gospel of Luke and Matthew, you know that Joseph and Mary, it says, originally were from Nazareth. Then they travelled to Bethlehem for the birth. And then they have to escape to Egypt. Um, because Herod wants to kill baby Jesus. And then after that, again, they're going to return. It says that um, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph. Get up and go back. Maybe we, from that passage, we might think that they were going to originally going to go back to Bethlehem, back to where Jesus was born. But it says that after being warned in the dream, he left for the region of Galilee. So again, God guides Joseph as to exactly where he wants him to settle again and where he wants Jesus to be brought up. Joseph is a, is a carpenter. It'd be natural to assume that um, during their time in Bethlehem, Joseph would have been working. And because it was his, his the, the city of his family, maybe he made a lot of connections there again. Um, and maybe it would have been more natural to go back there and settle because that's the last place where they were known. But there is the prophecy about, uh, it says, it's fulfilled with the prophets that said he'll be called a Nazarene. Now we're not told in that, whenever you look at footnotes and such like, as to where that quote is from, a number of scholars would bring it from different places. But being a Nazarene or being a Nazarite meant being committed to God. It meant somebody that wouldn't cut their hair, somebody who wouldn't drink wine or any fermented uh, drinks, somebody who would dedicate themselves to God. Jesus would be the ultimate example of that. Jesus is God. His whole life is about dedication to the will of his Father, about doing the perfect will. For somebody who was going to be a, a, a Nazarite, a Nazarite, if they had done something which wasn't allowed, they had to shave their head, they had to make a sacrifice, and then they started their time all over again, the time of commitment that they had made to God. Jesus would never do that. Jesus would be, the, again, the perfect example of what it was to be a Nazarite. He, he would show the sinless perfection. And it's that sinless perfection of the Son of God that will take him to the cross for you and I. But it's a journey that they're on and we'll come back to that sort of thought of journey um, on Christmas Day and we'll, we'll look at what that journey was. But again, Joseph had to listen to God, just like he had listened in the first place to the angel about um, Mary having a child, just like the, the, the shepherds had listened and gone on a journey, just like the, the wise men had, had listened and obeyed God. Joseph, again, has to listen and obey. And time and time again in the story of Jesus and his birth and, and those early years, it's about listening and obeying. And, it, and it's, a, it's about that cycle. To know what God wants us to do, we have to listen. We read God's word and we listen. We, we learn about God's word, we learn what it's teaching and we listen. But then whenever we listen, we put it into action. Joseph listened and then put into action what God had told him to do. The wise men listened and put into action. The shepherds listened and put into action. It's about listening and then acting. 
it's a constant, constant challenge, a constant cycle. But it's what God wants us to do. And as we get that wee bit closer to tomorrow, to Christmas Day, may we be willing to listen and then put into action what God is saying to us. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you do talk to us each and every day. You talk to us through your word. You talk to us through others. Lord, you just guide us in our path. Forgive us, Father, that sometimes we are stubborn. Sometimes we, we resist. Sometimes we try to close our ears to you. But Lord, thank you that you never give up on us. That you keep on talking to us. Keep on working in our lives. Lord, please just guide us and direct us and help us to listen and help us to obey. For it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Thanks again, folks. I will see you tomorrow morning, same time for Christmas Day. In the meantime, take care. God bless.